Hey everyone, this is Daniel Marchena with XDA Developers taking a look at our second beta build of Android Pie with Samsung Experience 10.0 on the Galaxy S9. And it includes a working night mode. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so we're gonna quickly go through some updates that I noticed in this new build for the Galaxy S9. Now, if you haven't seen our first video, I highly recommend you checking that out. That'll be linked in the description. That'll go over all of the major changes that we saw Samsung make with their UI for Android Pie, which is quite the overhaul. Now, you'll notice here the first thing is I've actually got a light wallpaper set up this time to show you that the notification panel and quick setting toggle actually changed the way that they appear based on your wallpaper. It's very similar to what Google did with the pixels in Oreo where they actually pull some of the colors from the background. Uh, now, you know, this is still blue, and the other one was blue, too, uh, so it still does have an overall blue theme, but you do notice it's considerably lighter than it was before. I think it's a nice little UI touch. just makes it a little bit more appealing. Uh, now, while we're in the uh, quick settings toggle here, I've noticed a few other little things as well. Uh, the first one is we've got a night theme toggle here. Uh, that's new because the night theme is functioning in this particular build. Uh, you'll notice if you tap that down there, you've got this big box for white and then your toggle here of on and off. And it goes to like a pixel blue color when you turn things on. And, and that's throughout the UI. You'll notice that in the settings menu. We're going to go ahead and turn that off for the moment, though. Uh, something else that I notice is if you open up this setting here, you can actually close your quick setting panel by tapping right here and, and swiping. I don't think that's something that Samsung intended that might just be a, a an early beta bug that they'll hopefully fix because it definitely doesn't seem to function properly. Uh, another thing is if you open up this menu here and you click details, you'll see a, a weird animation there that's almost like two different animations. Again, it's really weird, but Samsung is known for doing some weird stuff with its UI. Uh, so again, here we are in the settings menu. Uh, you notice everything is exactly the way that it was before. Oh, if we go back to settings, sorry. The Android back button behavior is always a, a tricky one. Uh, we see the Samsung UI for its settings exactly the way that we had it in the last build. If we go into the display settings, this is where most of our changes are going to be found between our two builds. First off, the navigation bar is not working the gestures. It does work on the Galaxy S9 Plus, but it doesn't function on this particular build. Uh, now, one thing that is working, though, is you can actually swipe between your applications here, which is pretty cool. So you can still have the soft keys and still have that uh, you know, ability to swipe back and forth between your applications. I think that's a neat little touch that Samsung added in there. I believe on the pixels that if you choose to have um, the soft keys, you lose that ability. I could be wrong. I haven't used a Pixel Pie in a, in a little while now. Uh, but like I mentioned, the gestures aren't working on this particular build. Uh, again, if you go in here, you see that same blue bar. Now, this has been cleaned up considerably. It looks a lot nicer, but you are still seeing, if you look closely, there are two different blues being used here. Uh, you know, I hope Samsung brings their theming into alignment, which hopefully is something we'll see in some of the later beta builds. So if we go up here to the star of the show for this video, we've got our night theme. First off, if we go into this night theme menu here, you see everything is missing. I believe Samsung probably removed this to get the feature working properly. Some of those things were causing issues, uh, and I expect them to make a full return. They were It was an excellent menu choice. I think Samsung was smart to have the, the scheduling and the ability to adjust your brightness when it's nighttime. All of those things were excellent changes that they had there, an excellent setting, so... I expect that to come back, but here is the night theme. Let's go ahead and toggle this on, and it's anticlimactic, but those are beta woes. Um, this menu actually doesn't theme normally. Uh, now, this is actually the fourth time I'm filming this video because every time I've had some really funky stuff happen with the night theme, so I'm not going to use the quick setting toggle to change it because stuff breaks. Uh, this menu will actually turn dark. So if we go back here to see our night theme, there we go. That's our new night theme. Uh, now, this definitely makes Samsung's changes with the UI more palatable. You don't have that harsh, jarring white on black look uh, that, that we had in the builds before. It's a lot easier on the eyes. The curves aren't as bad or as noticeable because you have that lack of contrast. I still think overall, uh, outside of these big tiles, which I, 
they're growing on me. Uh, these rounded card UIs, I think they're very ugly. Uh, I really still hope Samsung merges these into a solid menu and maybe puts the curves on just the top and the bottom, but who knows? At least with the dark theme, which you should be able to toggle manually, which I think most of us are probably going to leave it on permanently, uh, at least it, it goes away for a little bit. It, it's not as bad as it was before. Um, so that's the night theme. I'll show you some of the other areas that that actually does take effect throughout the UI. Uh, some things that I noticed too is if you go into screen mode, you'll notice you don't have your advanced options down here. Uh, it was always kind of weird that they were still visible there when you were in some of the other color modes, but now they're only in adaptive and only in their menu off of adaptive. So I guess that's just putting things where they belong, Samsung cleaning up. Uh, the navigation bar, again, it, it doesn't function properly like I told you, but you do have the swiping gestures, which is pretty cool. Um, there are still some UI problems. If uh, we go to screen timeout and the dark theme, uh, there's nothing here. Again, early build woes. Uh, if we go into our messaging application, we've actually got the dark theme here. Now, if we go into it, this does not change. Uh, but if we look here, we've got the dark, uh, almost like the notification, but the dark panel there and the dark UI. If we go back into settings, and remember, I'm not going to use the quick setting toggle because it does break stuff. Uh, switch it to light and go back. You'll see we have the light UI there. Uh, so again, it's, it's a really nice setup that they have. It seems to function flawlessly. And for anybody who's been calling for a dark AMOLED theme, I think this is getting pretty close. It's the closest I think any manufacturer is, has given us so far. Uh, so that is pretty much the night theme. Now you'll notice see, these, some of these panels don't change properly. And like I mentioned before, they, they've still got a lot of stuff they need to fix and change in here. Uh, some of the other things that I noticed in the quick setting toggle here, um, you can swipe left and right to get to them. I don't think I went through that last time. So you can't have multiple pages of uh, icons here that you can go through. And of course your brightness is down there on the bottom. Uh, Bixby, of course, is off to the left here. It does have that new rounded UI. Uh, it does seem to be a little bit smoother, even in the beta builds, than it was on the Note 9. But again, it's Bixby and smoothness is relative. So take it with a grain of salt. I think most of us probably just end up turning off Bixby. Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much most of the changes that we've got here on this new build of Samsung Experience 10.0. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you, we talked about this briefly in the last video under lock screen, uh, under lock screen and notifications, uh, we had three options here, card, uh, typographic, and icon only. Typographic is working now. Uh, if we go ahead and lock it, you'll see the card UI which is the typical UI that you're used to uh, with the text on the top and the bottom and the little app name on the top. Uh, if we go ahead and switch it to typographic and unlock it, you'll see that it's a big icon for your application and then the text next to it. I think this is again, one of those things that Samsung changes that other OEMs aren't doing that I think make the UI nice and you can personalize it, which I think is really cool. Uh, this is actually one of the new uh, always on display themes. I, I really like the way this is laid out as well. Again, swipe to open your screen is still a thing with Samsung's, unfortunately. Uh, another thing too, I don't think I went over is uh, the quick set the quick actions off of a notification. They're centered now like they are on Android Pie instead of being off to the right like they were on Samsung Oreo or off to the left like they were in Google Oreo. Some of the other things I wanted to touch on real briefly is we've actually got a new clock application. I really love this new clock application. A lot of clock applications have information density in it. It's hard to see at a real quick glance what you're looking for. If you're going into the clock, chances are you're going to use the timer or the stopwatch, which you know where those are, where you're going to see if your alarm is set for the next day. And here in big, bold letters, you've got when your alarm is going to go off. That is an excellent UI from Samsung. Even when you open it, it's actually still a pretty nice UI here. Again, keeping their dark theme, although there is purple text, which is kind of strange. Uh, but I really like the way that this is all laid out. You've got, you know, that text on the top, which we've seen throughout the UI in the other video. That's Samsung's new design. They're definitely making their own design with this. Love it or hate it. I think it's a huge waste of space. But again, you do get these cool interfaces and these, this information that you're looking for, right? At, you know, without even having to go into any menus or scanning through information. So there's definitely a benefit to having this kind of a style. 
so that's the new clock application. Uh, the calendar application is also updated, but it looks like it got a similar update to what uh, the uh, Samsung calendar got, which is just refreshed with a lot of their new UI, but not the whole dark theme, and, and this doesn't change with the night theme setting. So that's something that changed that I didn't go over last time. Uh, so again, those were some of the changes that I've noticed here on uh, the Samsung Experience 10.0. Uh, be on the lookout. We're, we're seeing new builds pop up fairly frequently. As we see new big things change in these builds, you can guarantee you'll uh, get a new video. So stay tuned to XDA Developers or the portal uh, here on uh, YouTube or the portal on the website xdadevelopers.com for more updates on this and any future builds.